Smashing Home for Christmas is a pretty good film. I feel like it got a little bit repetitive at one point and the pacing slowed down a bit. But in general, I quite liked it. This was released in 2020. It's directed by Amy Force and written by Timothy Kuryak and it stars Penny Zaid as Emily and Adrian Spencer as Simon. And Emily is trying to get home for the holidays and... At every turn, something goes wrong, mostly related to the weather. And it's a race against the clock for her to get home in time for Christmas and also in time for her sister to have her baby, who's basically any day away from going into labour. And not only is she racing against the clock, but she's also dealing with a very interesting character, uh, Simon, played by Adrian Spencer. And Simon, Simon's very likeable but in real life, I feel like he'd be quite irritating because he talks and talks and talks. And Emily kind of found him irritating to begin with. They had a, a chance encounter and then by pure coincidence, they were meant to be on the same flight. And then by another coincidence, they were in the same hotel when the when the plane was grounded because of the weather. And he is, as he describes himself, a people person. And he, he talks a lot. So while I really like him as a character, he's very positive, he's very upbeat. In real life, I think I find him very irritating. But in the film, I really like the character. And as they both are heading towards the same destination, they end up spending a lot of time together as they try and get there for Christmas. And obviously, in true Christmas rom-com style, the relationship between them begins to grow and strengthen and Emily allows herself to step away from her work and spend time with Simon. Simon's a very interesting character as well. I don't want to say too much about his background but we learn about his family life or perhaps lack of and where he's going for Christmas is definitely a very a very interesting part of the narrative and that was something else that I found very easy to warm to with the character. So in the film, I think Simon's a really great character. Emily's likeable as well. There's nothing unlikable about her. She's maybe a little bit standoffish to begin with, but I completely understand why. She's in a rush. Everything's going wrong. She's very stressed. I think she had a very believable response. And in fact, throughout the whole film, I feel like everybody's actions and the way they responded to the different situations that they were faced with was very, very believable. It's also quite a festive film. We have obviously very festive weather, uh, Christmas music. It's a, it's a good film. I don't know if it's the most Christmassy I've seen this year. In fact, it isn't. But there's enough Christmas in it that I'm happy for it to be called a Christmas film. And the characters are, are likeable. As I said, it does get a little bit repetitive. And I feel like... Even though we were technically moving forward with the narrative, I felt like we were just kind of going around in circles and it maybe became a little bit too unbelievable at times and I didn't feel like we were going in the right direction. But that wasn't a tremendous amount of the film and it certainly didn't hinder my enjoyment. So yeah, the pacing could be a little bit better kind of towards the the, the middle of the film a little bit after that, but... And that I really liked it. Dashing Home for Christmas is a decent film with some likeable characters, a good amount of Christmas in it. And if you're looking for a Christmas film that you haven't seen, then I'd say it's worth watching. I certainly didn't mind it.